All right. Hey, this is Pamela Raymond Schneider. I'm the retail editor for Blue Book Services, and I have another exciting interview here. I have DJ here from Leaf Farms and Abby Pryor from Bright Farms, and they've got some exciting news. So why don't you tell me what's going on? Bright Farms and Leaf Farms. I've been to Leaf Farms, by the way. Uh, I got to visit there right before they first opened, and uh, it was a really cool experience to see fully automated awesomeness. Um, so, so tell me what's going on with you guys. Yeah, sure. DJ, I'll start. Um, so just last summer, and it was a busy summer, there was a lot going on. Um, so it, it, it may have fallen through the, through the radar for some, but Bright Farms acquired Leaf Farms in August. Uh, and, you know, we did so because we saw that Leaf had done something really special. They had built a really nice brand with really unique products in New England. Um, they were working with the best retailers in the market. And, you know, we, we were also looking to enter New England and we thought, hey, this seems like a really interesting partnership because Leaf was operating one farm and it's really hard in this business to just operate one farm, right? With the amount of retailer support and the, you know, just general stuff that you need to get done on the agriculture side, really hard to do that with just one farm. So we said, hey, you know, could we as Bright Farms join with Leaf and give them the support and the resources that we have now, that we've now put together operating five farms in other parts of the country and use that to really help their business grow and to, you know, put some of that investment back into the customers that have made Leap so successful um, over the last five years. And, you know, in conversations with Leap, that seemed like a really good idea to their team as well. And so um, the LEAP team joined the Bright Farms team, and now we work really closely together. And I think it's been um, a really great start. And I think both organizations are really pleased with where we're headed. Well, and DJ, we had a fun drive around um, New Hampshire and I think into Vermont just a little bit to look at where you had gotten the product onto shelves to start with. Um, how did you expand that presence? Um, and where do you see you guys going in the future? Yeah, I mean, when you visited, I think we were only in four stores. Um, it was right at the beginning. And what we were really trying to do was establish ourselves as a key brand and a, and a key producer of baby greens in the Northeast. And over the years, we were able to develop some really key strategic relationships with, with, key, with key retailers in the Northeast. And what's exciting about Bright Farms, the partnership with Bright Farms, is we were at a point at LEAF where we we're really trying to decide what is our next step? You know, where, where are we going next? And the Bright Farms um, partnership really allows us to take that next step into the future um, and gives us those resources, Abby had said, to really execute on a high level and continue to build our presence. Um, the retailers that we've been in, uh, we've, we've been selling really well and we've been sold out. And so the, the next step is really to expand and to give us more space to grow more product and to fill more stores and, and, and offer more product. Uh, product availability, if you will, and uh, different SKUs. We might be growing different varieties and blends as well. So the next step is, is very, very exciting. So Abby, you mentioned that Bright Farms had targeted the Northeast. Where is your closest farm to Leaf? And, and you, you mentioned expanding, DJ. What kind of expansion are we looking at? So our closest farm to the New Hampshire farm is in Pennsylvania. Uh, and so we were shipping from our farm in Pennsylvania, you know, up into the lower, the lower half of the Northeast, I would say. We really like to keep our produce within about four hours of our farm. That's what feels comfortable. Um, and so we couldn't quite make it up as far north as we wanted to go from our Pennsylvania farm. So this New, New Hampshire location was perfect and it was ready to expand. So I'll let, I'll let DJ talk about that. Uh, the, the real exciting part about the partnership with Bright Farms is, as Abby keeps saying, and there's lots of great resources, is that we're going to be expanding uh, up to three times the size we're at now. So we'll be at three acres in about a year or so, um, and up to 12 acres in the next couple of years after that. And so there's huge potential for LEAF to be producing greens for our retail partners um, throughout the Northeast. And really, our, our mission is to be 
the number one uh, retail partner um, and provide the best greens in the market. And so our expansion will allow us to broaden our product offering and increase our availability, which has been one of the struggles we've had. Um, our product is, is amazing um, coming out of LEAF. The, the blends are incredible and the demand for it outpaces what we can grow. So this expansion just solves a lot of um, short-term um, problems that we've been having and provides a lot of solutions now and into the future as well. So very exciting. And let's talk about a little bit about branding. I know Leaf Farms has built its own brand. Bright Farms has its own brand. Um, where are we going to go with what the product naming will be and, and who will own the branding? Yeah, I mean, the great part is in, in one of the parts of partnering with Leaf that was so exciting is that they already had such great retail partnerships, you know, um, with, with Ahold, with Albertsons, with Whole Foods, with Market Basket. And so our plan is to just really work with those customers to, de to develop the best strategy that works for them. Um, strong belief that there is a consumer in New England right now that is very connected to the Leaf brand. We're here to please consumers, right? That, that's, our, that's our whole goal. Um, so we have no plans to you know, get, migrate the brand. We have no plans to make a change because we have consumers in Hannaford and Shaw's and Market Basket and Whole Foods who really love the Leaf brand and wanna just see more of it. Uh, and so that's what we've really done is we've worked with those customers to say, great, let's prioritize, let's make sure that you get the supply that you need that will continue to, to grow in the market with investment. Um, and you know, our, our, our plan is to potentially someday have both brands in the market, um, but, but today New England is Leaf for us. Oh, okay, excellent. And and as someone who has tried these greens that DJ is bragging about, um, nobody has come close with that spicy green to that amazing sandwich that one time that I had in France. Um, <laughs> where, it, it, will Bright Farms be adopting any of their um, you know blends that they're putting together? Do you guys see any expansion of that type into the other Bright Farms facilities? Absolutely, we don't see a hard line in between the brands. Right. Um, in fact, DJ's role now supports uh, the farm in New Hampshire and also our farm in Pennsylvania, um, because, you know, we are we are great people trying to do great things with great produce uh, and that and, and we don't put any hard lines between any of that. So I think um, we will take the best of both brands and you may see them in either brand as we move forward. All right. Excellent. Is there anything I didn't ask that you wanted to mention while I've still got you? You know, I think um, generally we are just really excited about the opportunity to speak together like this. You know, we, we're, we're five or six months into this, um, into this partnership and working together. So we appreciate you checking, us, checking back in on us very much. And um, we, I think, would love the opportunity to come back and, and talk to you in 12 months or so or now when I've, when I've given DJ a heck of a lot more farm to work with. <laughs> and see how he's doing. He did an amazing job developing the entire New England market. We're going to keep him at it. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I remember seeing it, and I and I actually brought my big kid to see it um, back in the day. Hope there was no snow, which was really disappointing for January in New Hampshire for a kid who had never seen it before. Um, but I remember it just being one little acre in there, and there was so much potential in the area. So I'll have to bring the boys to have a, have a look around um, to see how it's grown. Um, I got it a little brother who would love to see it too, of course. Well, you're always, you're always welcomed at the farm anytime. We'll make it happen for you. All right. Thanks guys. I really appreciate it. Best of luck. Thank you.